Hey everyone, welcome back, and we're in our kingdom, which is nearing the population of 5,000, you know, if we can get the supply lines properly set up, I'm looking at you, you idiots, alright, so, last episode we set up kind of this, uh, spot here to really help with the food shortages so hopefully that will definitely do something but there's no telling if that is helping or not thankfully this is leading to a lot of food being transferred which is nice but there is evidence that this is not working as efficiently as possible as shown by the happiness decrease from the recent food shortages still happening. Which sucks, but we're almost there. In the meantime, though, let's um, replace this spot right here with an aqueduct slash... Um, reservoir and then we'll expand and add a couple more orchards over there because we do have a really good amount of food being produced right now it's in the negatives because it hit the threshold where it can't be sustained properly so there's that but you know Not too big of a deal. Oh, dude. Poor guy. Just up and drowned. Dude, he's in the middle of the water. I don't even know how he ended up there. <sighs> so, for some reason, there is indeed still a food shortage, which is really interesting, but, you know can't really do anything about that because no matter how hard we try to properly distribute the food it seems that there is no effect so let's just add more boats and hope for the best let's add another one right there And maybe that will actually solve the problem is having one additional boat going from here to there. In the meantime, though, let's add more farms. Oh, we can't. We need to have a bridge or like a thing right there. We're going to get rid of that and then add an intersection right here. And we're just going to cut across right there. And we're going to build more farms. Or orchards. No, not there. Bad. So this will provide a steady um, boost to our farm economy. Just a little bit. Uh, hopefully that will be just enough to provide more food to our poor villagers who apparently are being neglected and whatnot so huh it shuffled 
That's not the okay. So lineage to apparently the order is now different. So I gotta like lineage to Zoki. All right, those names are so weird. Lineage to Zoki. Pick up. I didn't tell you. I told you to pause. You imbecile. Pick up two hundred food. I wonder if I tell you what would happen if I told you to pick up 300 food. Just out of curiosity. You too. Can you pick up 300 food? It'd be cool if you could. They can hold a total of 270. Okay. So... Everything needs to go up to do 70 to better our supply lines. Even if they can't hold 270 in total, it's still within our best interest to have every ship transporting exactly 270. And we're actually starting to get pile ups now, so that's kind of interesting. So, I don't know why you're just sitting there. Go. So, let's see where the main food shortage is actually at. Apparently mostly just right here. They also don't have access to charcoal. Which is really interesting. So let's fix that by just putting down a couple charcoal makers over here. Which shouldn't be necessary, but apparently we have to. Actually no, we'll just put a dock down right here. And... Then we'll go, let's see, we don't know the name of that one yet. But they were going to build another boat, transport ship, going right here. And... Do none of these guys really hold charcoal? Hmm. Okay. So despite constant charcoal production, no charcoal gets placed under there. That's great. It must be being used way too frequently for that to happen. So we're going to demolish that boat. And... Relocate more charcoal production entirely over here. Just so this way we can properly uh, provide for our citizens. There, that should do. And then we're just going to drop a stone road right there and then I'll allow better access all around to our charcoal production and that should help keep these guys more happy so looks like that the the pantries are being stocked with food finally so that is nice job priority cool I didn't know that was a thing that's kind of nice. And it looks like the food shortage is actually being taken care of. So that's kind of nice. I hope that they take care of those bodies pretty soon because that's going to be bad if they don't. What are you doing, caretaker? Caretaker. 
Okay, I might need to have another cemetery somewhere around here. Just to assist with, um, the space. Maybe. Nope, they got him. Okay, good. All right. Um, it looks like that things have finally started shaping up. Except for the fact that there's now a huge fire risk right here, which is interesting because there's a well right there. But whatever, I guess. So let's convert you into a well and that should solve that problem. But there's still a food shortage. Oh, it's now over here, apparently. I don't... How are you guys... Oh, it's just that they're close to starving. Okay. Well, I mean... Hmm. Let's see. Well, at least charcoal's no longer a problem. At least it shouldn't be for quite a while. Um, but it does seem like food is being replenished. So I guess that's good. I really wish the granaries would uh, fill up faster. But over here, the granaries... These granaries are full. The heck. Well, at least that means that there's at least a supply of food readily available now. So that's kind of good. That actually also means I can actually start expanding now. Because if I expand in this area, they have these granaries to access. So. And yet... There's still food problems. So, that's great. Alright, we got a lot of trees uh, cleared out of the way. Quite a bit of them. And... Alright, not bad, not bad at all. Got some more space available for homes. That's always good. Although, it's going to be a little alignment problem, though. I can already see that happening. That's going to suck. Alright, but at the same time, happiness is at 80. Due to the fact that there's a food shortage still. Which, I really wish there was a better way to tell where the food shortage was. Because... And we need a new cemetery, like, right now, because this is ridiculous. So we're going to do... Cemetery Caretaker right there. And... Cemeteries all around. It may not be the best of ideas having all the cemeteries behind the granaries, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And it is not my fault that, um, there's just so many people dying. So.
<sighs> Why is it this area that's having a problem? Because like areas over here, they have like more than enough food. But they probably actually know they don't. Well, no, they have they have a decent amount. I mean, there's definitely food available. These guys suffering from a food shortage? No. They're fine. All of them are fine. They've got plenty of food going around. Hmm. Um... It's only that one area up there, and I wish there was a better way to, um, deal with that. Okay, why are you going back with all that food? Dude, what are you doing? Hey. Oh, because it's picking it up from both of them. Gosh darn it. Hmm, that sucks. I mean, it explains a lot, but it sucks. Alright, let's continue working on our uh, expansion here. So, I think right here, though, we need to not have roads there, but then have our manners. Over here, like that, and we're probably gonna need another tavern. That's a baker. Actually, a baker wouldn't be bad to have in this area. Let's get some more bakers going, because that'll definitely help out in the long run if we just have a ton of bakers just scattered about. I mean, that's also more jobs too. there. I don't think there is. Huh. So we'll just do a well. Because those bakers might actually be able to, um, let's get rid of that tavern there. We're going to put it back, don't worry, but we're going to rotate it and then sneak a bakery right there. There we go. A little better optimization. We're also going to do one there. And followed by a tavern. Right back here. And probably another bakery. Got to do more jobs, am I right? Then we'll do a library. And then probably a hospital right there. Let's expand our roads and start connecting things. There we go. And probably gonna need another marketplace. So we'll put a marketplace right here. And then we'll do Let's do a town square as well. Where's the closest town square at? Quite a distance away. So we'll do one right there. Then we'll do... Hmm. Let's do two little stockpiles right here. Then we'll put a manor right there. Let's remove this well. And then wrap a stone road. Wow, it is getting really laggy. Like, it's kind of crazy, actually. Might have to go and turn the graphics down a little bit or something. 
just so that way I can properly run the game. And then we're gonna have to probably do another tavern. That's a baker, but oh well, we need more bakers anyways. Right here, let's see. That's definitely going to probably help with the food shortage just a little bit. Wow, we lost almost 1,000 from exposure, but we gained 19 from shipping somehow. So, that's weird. Hmm. So the bakeries are not producing a lot of food, but they are producing something. So it's just enough to actually make having them around worth it. And they also provide jobs too. So let's host a, an event right up here. And that might help out with um, the uh, lack of peasants in the area. So, yeah, yeah I'm a little bit of a operation is needed here to properly allocate resources, but we're getting some work done. Definitely need more bakeries, though, because if those are producing even the smallest amount of food, they're worth having around. Let's see. Alright, so we are in the middle of gaining a lot of food. That's just because the population is so low now. So, and now that it's shot up to here, we're probably going to see the food amounts just plummet. So, it'll be interesting to see the, the stress that this puts on the, um, the supply chains. Because there's definitely a lot of um, stress just being put on the system. So. Let's see. Just by clearing out these trees here, we're definitely making some more uh, space. For some future housing opportunities. So, definitely, definitely a lot. I think that I should probably just go and get rid of these blocks here, including the iron, because we have plenty of iron, just in general. And, but there's no more to grab after that, so I shouldn't do that. Hmm. Are there any other iron mines besides the ones I have over here? No, there are not. I'm pretty sure most of my iron just comes from that one area. So I'll actually need to keep that. So I guess we'll expand into this area instead. So because of how dry this land becomes after these um, orchards... I'm debating whether or not I should just like chill with all of the um, expansion part on the uh, orchards and then it just kind of turn into townhouses or just keep going with the food supply. Because there's definitely too much production going on over here. And while I'm trying to kind of decrease that disadvantage 
that I have with having it all isolated by having, you know, the transportation system. Still kind of creating a little bit of a problem. So, hopefully, all of this will be uh, somewhat sorted out pretty soon. But, that's going to take a lot of effort. There's definitely not enough jobs available for newcomers in the city. That number is just steadily taken down. Which one? You're a liar. Unless, of course, this is too big for you to handle, then we'll just remove that there. And, um... Put another one there. And... I guess we'll do another one there. And we'll do... One here. And that should be good. Maybe we'll just sneak one back here. That might help. <sighs> we're literally losing more people per year just from natural causes than we're gaining per year from visitors. So, because we just lost almost a hundred peasants just from this year alone from like natural causes so hopefully this is far enough away so that way the uh, iron mines don't affect the manners and their uh Precious sound quality. So let's find out by having an iron mine here and an iron mine there. And then we're going to add more stockpiles right there and probably a cut across right here. And, oh, I can add some more, I can add statues. Because I haven't done that for a while. We'll add... We'll do, um, we'll kind of cheat here. And we'll do a pier right here. And then we'll do... Yeah, we'll just do one right there. And that, that should help out with the, the people and their needs to see more statues. Let's, um, hmm. Let's get rid of this house and put down you know, part of me actually wonders just because he's holding a scythe if this helped with farming at all so we're going to put one down here as sort of an experiment and see what happens and maybe just for the heck of it one over here too so I always wondered that if because he's holding a scythe if that um means that like because like Lord Levi causes trees to grow in the area he's surrounding I'm wondering if this statue has an effect on the farmland he's uh, neighboring so look at that almost there only a couple more manners and we'll be able to by default hold 
um, 5,000 villagers. Let's see. Hmm. Kind of an oversight on my part, so we're actually going to move him over to the middle right there. And then we're going to have another manor just chilling right there. And then we're going to have probably a tavern. Actually, is that a tavern that I have down there? That's a bakery, I think. That should do it. That should do it. So let's expand the roads and implement wells where needed. I actually think we're good on wells. So... And then we'll just put down. That is quite a bit right there. Just this alone. So. I wonder if that's enough to throw it over the edge. Alright. Let's see. Oh, we have some piers over here. We can throw down some uh, manors and call it good. So let's do that. There we go. Look at that. Huh. Ooh, over here too. Yeah, this game is getting really laggy now that there's 5,000, like almost 5,000 people that can be held. So hopefully with those expansion piers, we'll have enough space just to drop down a couple manors and have the maximum amount of people available to us. Did that statue ever get finished? Yes, it did. City Master workers, fertility bonus. Oh yeah, I forgot that. Um, eventually you get master workers who um, provide additional stuff. So it looks like that this only provides happiness. So that's kind of a shame. Because this guy, while it doesn't say it, he does provide additional uh, trees to grow faster. So... Let's uh, cause a peasant rush, I guess, and see if we can just fill up the area with a... I think the food is slowly creeping down, but I'm not sure. I'll have to look again a little bit here, because there's really no easy way to tell right off, just right off the bat. Alright. Just one more. We'll do two more, I guess. Just so that way he has a neighbor. Right there. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. We're going to increase that to 270 to help out because 70 additional food is definitely a big big help same thing with this over here 270 270 and let's check out our great library and do the final research even though there's no use for it Almost there. We just gotta wait for those last couple manners to be finished building. Built. Building, built, whatever. And then we'll initiate the uh, celebration.
So it looks like that even though we have a lot of grave diggers out, they're not really doing their job. So kind of, I guess. I mean. All right, we just need two more to finish. I'm looking at you three. Finish. Finish building. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right. So let's see if that pushes me over the edge for uh, 5,000. If not, I'll host more. Yes! Yes! We did it! We did it! It has been done. 5,000 citizens. It's pretty good. We're now a kingdom of the gods. So we're just that great all right that was i guess this means that kingdoms and castles is over well even though there's food shortages going on and you know no one could ever be happy um just because of how poorly this village was optimized once kingdoms and castles updates again maybe i'll play a village that actually has constant threats from dragons and ogres and trolls and vikings and whatnot. So, that might be in the near future. But until then, this has been the final episode of Kingdoms and Castles. I just wanted to thank all of you who have seen every episode. Or maybe you're just now watching the final one for some reason. And you're considering watching the rest of it but hey thank you thanks for tuning in thanks for uh checking everything out here We've got quite a lot of progress that was made over the past 14 episodes and just wanted to thank all of you for tuning in and watching every episode because it's going to be a little bit more before all the rest is done so, before we officially end this episode, quick announcements. Um, wow, ever since uh, the plague... Wow, uh, okay, so everyone's going to die pretty soon. That's great. So, <laughs> yeah, this, um, this ending is not very satisfying for me just because of how laggy it's getting. And there's not... It's getting really difficult to actually play. Just because how like laggy it now is, but anyways, now that Kingdoms and Castles has officially ended, I can begin working on a few other projects that I have in mind. Um, there's still surprises, so for the uh, like thirty of you that actually care, not even maybe only five of you, but. They are definitely going to be huge projects. They're not just going to be like overnight videos that I usually produce. They're going to take probably two to three weeks to produce both of those projects. And then not only will you receive Minecraft, Skyrim, and Subnautica, but there will be an additional daily upload that will occur. So, yeah. Those two series that'll be produced are one of them is currently in the works right now um it's not like i haven't like started recording or anything i'm just like laying the foundation out which when it's released that'll make sense but you know until then gotta keep it under wraps you know some real secret stuff some real uh, super awesome stuff and I'm also kind of stalling because I want to see what direction the food goes. And it looks like that the kingdom is actually stable. You know, while the population rapid, 
rapidly decreases because um, there's just not enough people coming in per year to warrant um, the population staying stable. So you almost have to like keep it going just by hosting festivals every like every so often. So, but it looks like the kingdom is actually somewhat stable, which is really surprising. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys are going to be tuning in for the two series that we released. Um, I really want to talk about them, but I can't. Uh, oh, look, happiness is at 93. Wow, food plummets. Cool. Oh, well. Oh, whatever. Okay, food is going back up. But, yeah. Anyways, um, I'm really excited for what's to come. And hopefully, maybe uh, those two series will get the uh, the channel somewhat uh, pushed forward a little bit. Because they're definitely different. Well, one of them is typical stuff, but it's... It's one of those things where I think that it would be better off if I just release every episode once a day until the series is completed alongside with Minecraft and Subnautica and Skyrim. So, yeah. But the other one is going to be like an actual project, which I'm kind of like, yeah, you'll see. You'll see. Well, anyways, holy crap. Um, yeah, that's all we got. <laughs> Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day.